What's up? Today we're going to talk about Python 3 slice notation. If you don't know what I mean by slice notation, you take a string, like here we have Python, and then we can slice it up using this specific syntax. And here's an example to return uh, the first three values in the string of Python. I was inspired to make this video when I saw this Stack Overflow response, and I just never seen it written like this, understanding the slice notation where uh, the value on the left of the colon is start, and the value on the right of the colon is stop. I'd also just point out that the stop is really a stop minus one, and I'll show you what that looks like soon. So let's take our p variable, and we had previously run zero to three on that, and so what does that really mean? It means we're going to start at 0 and we're going to stop at 3 minus 1, in other words, at 2. And we know that P0 is the, the first value of P, and P3 is H, which isn't included, and the, the stop being the 3 minus 1 is going to be 2, which is the T, so that's how we get PYT here. I can tell you also that the syntax is really forgiving. So if we wanted to start at 100 and end at 0, we're just going to get an empty string. It's not going to break it. If we go to 100 to 101, again, empty string. We don't have any values in that range. But if we say start at 0 and end at 101, we're going to get that full Python string because our, uh, our string is only a length of 5 or, or 6 or whatever. Uh, I guess length of 5, but you know we need to put in a 6 to get the whole thing. And so it's just forgiving like that you can put in whatever big number and you're gonna get that string as long as you know your strings longer than that number another way in which Python syntax is forgiving is using the keyword none and it returns Python because it treats this as sort of a none argument so if we do none to six we get the full Python in the same way that if we did zero to six and if we did say zero to none we'll get the full Python again. It basically just treats it as if it wasn't there. Um, so it's the same thing as if I did the zero colon or what was the other one we did? So we did none to six, so we did that. It's, it's the same thing as that. If we did none to say three, it's the same as the zero to three that we started with in the first example. Now we should get into negative numbers. Uh, these are a little bit more difficult to conceptualize, but I'll just run it a bunch and we'll take a look. So negative one is the last value, second last value, negative three is the third last value. And if we say did zero to negative three, you're gonna get the first three values. Another cool trick if you wanna reverse a string is use the double colon with negative one and you can reverse a string as such. Another cool thing people don't talk about much is when you use a list instead of a string, so we're using Python like before, and you know, of course, the first digit is P, the last digit is the N, and we can use slice notation on a list in the same way as before, um, where you know we can get the the PYT. I would just keep in mind that the type being returned is a list here and not a string. Maybe the last thing worth noting is how we can use string assignment. So we'll take our Python list. And I think you know that uh, if you do uh, 0 equals Z or Z for my Canadian friends, uh, run that again, we'll get Zython. Um, but you can do the same thing just as well uh, with the slice notation. So I think we know, so we can do 0, 1 and capture that Z in the same way. So since we can capture it, we can reassign that to say now uh, J and then we can run PL and get Python. So there's slice assignment. 